In 2023, there's been a lot of new shows and a lot of new anime that's been coming out over the year, and as somebody who has been getting more and more into anime lately, I've been checking out a lot more and more, especially because, well, the kids are into anime, and I want to make sure that, you know, <laughs> I check out this stuff before they check it out. One of the ones that I came across, though, that a lot of people in my circle are even talking about that I didn't realize they were watching is Free Run. So guys, I want to talk to you about a show that I've been watching for the last few weeks now and been highly enjoying and talk about one of my favorite things about this show that not a lot of them do. So if you guys like what I do here, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. So this is going to be your one and only spoiler warning, and I would strongly recommend you guys go over and watch Free Run uh, uh, wherever you guys can get it. I do know that it is on Crunchyroll right now, so go and check that out, and then come back and watch this video because I'm about to talk about the coolest part about this show for me that I don't see anybody talking about. So three, two, one, spoilers. Free Run is a story basically about, a, I guess, an immortal elf or a very long-lived elf. I don't know. I didn't read the manga. But essentially a very long-lived elf. This elf went on the typical D&D &D hero's journey. It was a 10-year journey, and uh, uh, the journey finally ended. And when that journey ended, she went along and she wanted to go and find her quirky little spell books that she finds. And as time goes on, she sees these adventurers that she, you know, spent this 10 year journey with, with to us and to them was quite a few years and quite a long time. And to her, it was one one hundredth of her life. And so for her, she really doesn't view that as all that special. And it's kind of interesting to see how they talk about what immortality looks like in someone and how they play with it in this show. You see, as time goes on, you can kind of understand why Freerun is really detached from a lot of the companions that she had. She doesn't understand certain celebrations that need to take place, why to take in a specific moment, what certain things mean to people, such as when one of her party members wanted to go to a parade or check out a sunrise or any of those things. To her, it's just, well, another day, and she's going to be around for a lot longer, and she's going to see a lot more of this, so it's really not special to her. And it really does talk about the mundaneness of immortality, right? Like, if you were long-lived. I also like the fact that they don't play her off as this evil character. Yes, she's lived for a very long time, but that doesn't mean that it inherently makes one evil. A lot of people like to play into that trope where, oh, immortal characters, they live for so long, they get tired of being the good guy, they finally become the evil guy. I really like that they're not doing that here. I like looking at this show in the way that it's playing with the detachment from companions, the detachment from special moments, and the detachment from those little things that us and our very short time here on Earth really love. You know, watching a sunrise, checking out a parade, you know, uh, going and doing small little things that are just little moments that are fantastic memories for us because, well, we only get so many of them, but Freerun doesn't. And this show decides to take her on a journey with some other companions and really try to teach her the importance of companionship and, well, the importance of holding things close and holding things near and dear to your heart. And it's something that as the show is going on, she's starting to learn more about. And it's something that I really appreciate. Uh, I don't know if you guys have read into the show the way that I have, but I absolutely love the way that they're playing this and the way that they're showing that this long-lived person who is very detached from the world can become reattached to it through, well, the attachments that have been there in the past and the new attachments, people, sorry, human emotions, those things, those things that keep us together, those things that bind us together. So what do you guys think? Have you guys looked into the show and do you find it a fun little story about immortality and what immortality can look like and how it can be very mundane and how after a while you can forget to really attach yourself to those special moments like a sunrise or a parade or a friend or a meal? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, because as always, I read every single one of your comments every single week live on Sundays. It's called Sunday Coffee, and it's on 11 a.m. Central. So if you guys want to share your thoughts with me and hear me share my thoughts with you about your thoughts that you shared with me, then tune in at 11 a.m. on Sunday. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal. 
just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.